City. <laughs> to think you had the good sense to return instead of following that nitwitted pilgrim. But, but, but Mr. Obstinate. Yes, 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 a man of wisdom. Uh, that's what you are, pliable. A man of wisdom. But... They say he now walks in white. He has a crown of gold set with pearls upon his head. Pilgrim lives well, it is said. He drinks from the fountain of life. He's without labor and sorrow. There's no grief in the place where he now abides. What idiotic nonsense. The man lives a fool, and on his gravestone they inscribe him a saint. They say Mrs. Pilgrim is sorry. They say, they say, they say. What kind of chatter is that from a man who has proved himself so wise as you? He's in a place of eternal blessedness. So I've heard. But is it so? Eternal blessedness? How can that be? As my husband says, and for all his cantankerousness, he's a man of high intelligence, he says that when we die, we die as a dog dies. But have you heard about his wife? No. How she has almost completely repented of all her ways. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Pilgrim. Repenting? Oh, yes, Mr. Obstinate. Repenting even worse than her husband did, some say. <laughs> what troubles Mother? She misses Father. <laughs> Look, Mummy, there's an evil bit at the window. Christiana, listen to what the book says, my dear one. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The soul that sins shall die. We are all as an unclean thing. All our righteousness is as filthy rags. If we keep the whole law yet offend in one point, we are guilty of all. Guilty of all, Christiana. Guilty of all. We must be watchful of this foolish woman. We dare not lose her as we lost her husband. We must be watchful of this foolish woman. We dare not lose her as we lost her husband. I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Come. I come in the name of the Lord of Hosts.
may God's peace be upon this house. I have many names. I visit you with the name of Evangelist. It is said you are aware of the evil and the folly of your former ways, of the hardening of your heart against your husband, and that you have a repentful spirit. Oh, yes. You have heard the truth. Good. I bring you a letter from the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, in whose presence your husband now dwells. It is a letter of invitation and guidance. He just vanished. Was he real, Mother? Perhaps too real for our eyes to any longer behold. It's written in gold. It's beautiful. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You shall seek me and find me when you have searched for me with all your heart. What does it mean? We must follow your father. We must find the way to the celestial city. We can't let that happen. Go tell her, Pliable. Go on! Knock, you fool! Go in and stop her! Don't go, Mrs. Pilgrim. I made the journey myself once, you know, but I was wise. I came back. Do you think my husband was unwise? Well, well I, I, I wouldn't put it that way, Mrs. Pilgrim. But by returning to the City of Destruction, you were wiser than my husband. Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. I can't really for sure claim that I've ever done anything very wise in my whole life. Not for very long, anyway. But I've heard it said, Mrs. Pilgrim, that all manner of evil await those who make the pilgrimage. Peril, and hunger, nakedness, the sword. All these my husband faced, to be sure. But he reached the celestial city, Mr. Pliable. You can't deny that. Of a truth, we cannot, Mrs. Pilgrim. And uh, to be really truthful, I, I, I wish I'd gone on with your husband. <laughs> oh, dear me, that, that's not what I came to tell you. Why don't you speak with some of our neighbors? Perhaps we could make the pilgrimage together. Blind and foolish woman. Will you not take warning of your husband's afflictions? Oh, let her go. It would be good riddance, I'd say. We must help her. Help her? Yesterday, I was at Madame Wompton's house. With us was Mrs. Love the Flesh, Mrs. Stealth, 
And, Mrs. Letchery, such a wonderful time we had. Come, Mrs. Pilgrim, let's go visit our happy neighbours. Nothing can deter me from my plan. What of your precious children? Your husband forsook both you and them. Are you of no better cloth than he? By my own foolish choice, I chose not to follow my husband. My children wish to go with me. Mere babes they are. Of course they want to follow their mother. But have you told them what kind of a journey it is? I have, as best I know to do. She's a waste of time. Let her go. If she stays here in this frame of mind, she'll be a miserable neighbor to all of us. Not another fool. Good morning, Mrs. Pilgrim. I... I came to borrow a measure of meal, but... Are you going on a journey? The children and I have chosen to follow the path of my dear husband. Mrs. Pilgrim! I was wretched and a fool, but I have repented of my sins. I have an invitation. is written in gold. That is because it comes from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He it is who rules the place where my dear husband dwells. You could come with us. But is it not very dangerous? Not nearly so dangerous as to stay here in the city of destruction. But I am so unworthy. The lord of the place where my dear husband dwells tells us that the more unworthy we are, the more he welcomes us. I am without faith. I I'm so full of doubts. We are promised faith. We can be delivered from doubts. Please come with us. I will come. a mess of things again. You repent first, and I'll repent right after you. What has said, Mother? That's something we don't talk about, dear. Why doesn't she come back? The one thing she couldn't bear about her husband was the scoffing he brought to their family. I don't like people scoffing at me, Mr. Obstinate. Mercy, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Mary. 
Darcy! Let's go! Let's go! I might. My confidence is in the promises of the Lord of the Celestial City. I've been directed to a wicked gate. Go with me that far. I will, Mrs. Pilgrim. I will. I think for this pilgrimage, I should like to choose the name of Christiana. Christiana. Oh, it's very good. And it really suits you. Thus far, it's been a pleasant journey. But for my dear husband, there were many trials and pitfalls. And so it is, I'm sure, for every pilgrim. We should seek a place of shelter. Do you think we should have come on the journey at all? I'm a little bit frightened, Mother. Come. Nothing is to be gained standing here. The Slough of Despond. In which my dear husband nearly perished. in this direction, away from the slough. Oh, Christiana, let's turn back. We don't know what other evils might befall us. We're only pilgrims. We have no money. We depend even for our food upon the kindness of those we meet along the way. We don't want your money. 
Even if you had any? No. We want you. Isn't she a lovely one? Lovely. 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 Some day she will give great pleasure to our master's disciples. All of this for your small favors. I've never seen such splendors. God is faithful, who will not permit you to be tested above what you are able, but will with the testing also make a way of escape. May it be so, Lord. Let us rest here tonight. Children! Will we be safe now? Has not our Lord just shown us his protection? Christiana? Yes? Why was I so tempted by the treasures of those evil men? Your innocence excuses you much. I too considered their treasures for a moment. My fault is much greater than yours. I have so much to learn. There is much we're not told about the pilgrimage. One thing we know. It is meant to be a time for learning.
I thought the fruit was beautiful. My eyes must be blind to evil. Christiana, do you think I should return to the City of Destruction? Do you want to return? I'm not sure. Is the evil one constantly watching us, plotting against us? Yes. Back at the City of Destruction, the evil one was rarely mentioned. I think the evil one pays much more attention to us on our journey than to those who remain back in the city. The village of morality. That must be just outside the celestial city. I think that's the wrong path. the right way. Good day, madam. I am Mr. Goodwill. From whence have you come and to where are you going? I am Christiana. I believe this is the gate through which my husband, a pilgrim before me, once sought entrance. Ah, yes. I remember him well. Who comes with you? My children are with me and... Awakened daughter. <laughs> as does my friend Christiana. She has an invitation from the King of Kings. I have but an invitation from her. I am unworthy. If one were worthy, which no mortal can be, then there would be no point to passing through this gate. Come. I think I should turn back. Enter in at the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be who go in that way. Because narrow is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be who find it.
Welcome. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. When the chief shepherd appears, you shall receive a crown of glory that fades not away. Is this a man of the world? You speak correctly, and his muckrake shows his carnal mind. Is the crown being offered to him? Indeed, in exchange for his muckrake. But he sees only the things of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. He has no time for celestial consideration. Other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and stubble, Everyone's work shall be tested. It shall be revealed by fire. The fire is God's judgment. It will destroy the mere labor of this world, but it will purify and preserve that which is eternal. A dirty pig? What's the meaning of that, Mr. Interpreter? The fatter a pig is, the more it desires the mire. So also, the healthier the lusty man is, the more he is prone to evil. It is easier to watch a night or two than a whole year. So also, it is easier to begin well than to hold out to the end. If a man would live well, let him remember his last day and make it always his companion. He who lives in sin and looks for happiness hereafter is like someone who plants weeds and thinks to fill his barn with good grain. Your pictures and your proverbs are most helpful. Did my husband come this way? Aye, and as earnest a pilgrim as I've ever met he was. It will give him great joy when you also reach the city. Does he know I'm coming? What is most important for you to know is that you are most assuredly on your way. Come. I will show you the path you are to take. I declare unto you the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. His suffering brings us peace. By his stripes we are healed. My Lord and my God, this is he in whom I have believed since the first day I repented of my sins. Repented, Christiana? Yes. He died for our sins. Our sins. 
mine. Yes, Mercy. For your sins. I do not wish to boast, but I haven't committed great sins. We are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. There is no peace in my heart. He is our peace. He who knew no sin was made to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. To as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. I receive. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. I believe. <laughs> What's wrong? I want to believe too. No. Anyone may believe. You need not fear. You may rejoice. I am Greatheart, the comforting one, protector and guide, promised and available to all who repent of their sins and journey to the celestial city. He's big. He's nice. He's my friend. They have done it unto themselves. Their names were simple, sloth, and presumption. But they have unnumbered other names. Hypocrisy, vanity, apostate, many names. Were they once pilgrims, like us? False pilgrims. False pilgrims? They walked on the way, but the celestial city was never their destination. Instead, though claiming to be pilgrims, they led many astray. Can they never reach the celestial city? Neither they nor the many who follow their counsels of folly.
I'm very troubled about those three men. And the many others like them. Why could the Lord not forgive them? If only they had asked him to. My faith and my understanding are so small. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So also comes understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Concerning those three men whose bodies you have just seen, the sacred book speaks of them as having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the blindness of their hearts. We must be on our way. Just yonder is an arbor, a place for pilgrims to rest. Our Lord prepared it especially for pilgrims. In a world of much trouble and suffering, there remains a rest for the people of God. A rest for the people of God. To rest in one's Lord is one thing. To sleep through indifference is quite another. I remember your words from this morning, Great Heart. The way to the celestial city is like climbing a ladder. The way to hell is like going down a hill. Blessed are the pure part, for they shall see God. It is correctly stated, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's right. I wish I had a pure heart. In the sight of God, you do, my son. And only what appears to his eyes about you is important. Must be careful. Stay where you are, pilgrims. I am Giant Grim, sovereign ruler of the kingdom of the unknown. These pilgrims enter in the name of one who knows the future better than they remember the past.
peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Sorry you came here. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust in him. He shall bring it to pass. Your friends will call you fools. We are fools for Christ's sake. Great dangers await you. You will fail. You will fail. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A wise pilgrim, who like you walked with the Lord, once said, never doubt in the darkness what your Lord told you in the daylight. be any more danger? Yes. But for the true pilgrim, bound for the celestial city, the greatest of dangers becomes an opportunity for experiencing faith. But I have so little faith. I'm so full of doubts. Remember, Mercy. Faith comes by believing the promises God has given us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. The joy of the Lord is your strength. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Oh, mercy, let the promises of our Lord flood your heart, just as the sun warms the earth. But I have so little faith, and you... Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Grow in grace. Every day stronger, more sure of your faith. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Please, Lord, strengthen mercy. Give me the right words when I speak to her. Help me to lead my children along the way. Thank you, Lord. Where are we going, Mother? to a beautiful place which our Lord has made for us. Will it be a house? 
a place so beautiful, we can only wonder what it would be like. Can it be far? I don't know how far it is. Does Great Heart know? Great Heart knows. Won't he tell us? When the time is right, he will. Will there be any bad people in this place? I'm bad sometimes. But the Lord of that wonderful place will make you so that you will always be good. Not ever bad? Not ever bad. Will I be good as Great Heart? As good as Great Heart. I'm going to be good as Great Heart. your city before I grow up. You want to be grown up, don't you, please? To be like you. It's important to grow up and beautiful. But it isn't the most important thing in your life, or the most beautiful. Will there be many children my age in the celestial city? Many. And any one of them will tell you that one moment with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords is more important, more beautiful than the longest, happiest life you could live here on Earth. Vanity Fair. I've heard of this evil place. So have I and the experience my husband had there. May we go, Mother? Do you wish to go? I think I do. If you knew it to be a place where you might be turned completely away from our pilgrimage, would you still wish to go? Is it an evil place? Very evil. Do you wish to go, Credence? Not if it is an evil place. And you, Avail? I am very curious, Mother. Do you not wish me to go? It is more important what you wish to do. I wish to go. A fail. But I choose not to go. But there is one place you must see. It is just outside Vanity Fair. This is where Faithful, your husband's beloved friend, perished in the flames of his tormentors. They did not realize they were bestowing upon him one of the greatest honors that can come to mortals, dying for their lord. That is an honor? A great honor. I wouldn't dare to die. I scarcely have enough faith by which to live. I want to believe, but I have so many doubts. <laughs> Look, pilgrims. What fine logs for a fire tonight. It's only women and children. It would be sinful to burn them. Nothing sinful ever happens in Vanity Fair. Were it not 
for your faith and your courage. I should have turned back from this pilgrimage a long time ago. Where's Greatheart? I am with you. I have always been. But you forgot. Your comforter and protector. Pleasant it is this way. Pleasant? What is pleasing to the eye may be precarious to the foot. It looks pretty. It's very beautiful. Let's go. But we go this way, Mercy. They also pilgrims? Indeed. Let us join them. Welcome. You are also traveling to the Celestial City? We are, sir. Then join us. We find that the joys of our pilgrimage are in sharing our blessings with our sisters and brothers. from his imperial magnificence, the prince. The prince? 
the prince of the power of the air. You could be his royal princess. Just take this pleasant way through Bypath Meadow. Only you were wise enough to see its beauty. Come, I'll show you the way. Said the spider to the fly, come into my house today. Said the fly to the spider, I, I'll come, but I'll not stay. drawn to that place. Mortals often find it much easier to doubt than to believe. Easier to doubt than to believe. True that is of me. I wish we could destroy that castle. You can. Destroy Doubting Castle? Aye. For Doubting Castle exists in the life of every pilgrim, who will either yield to the castle's power through unbelief, or destroy the castle through the power of faith. Could we destroy it? You can destroy it, Mercy. Aye. But only if you will believe. Unbelief makes a pilgrim powerless. But if you will believe, you can destroy Doubting Castle. Believe. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. 
You see, faith pleases God because faith is you acting upon the authority of God's promises to you. Lord, I believe. Oh, please. you hear. It is only judgment upon the castle. In answer to your faith, dear Mercy. My faith? <laughs> faith. This is the victory which overcomes the world. Your faith. My faith. You are anxious to be on your way. <laughs> so are others. For so many years they have tended to the needs of pilgrims here. It is time for them to be going to the celestial city. So, others are needed to look after the inn. to stay and help look after the inn. So could I. My wife and I will stay for a while. Those who would go now to the celestial city, come with me.
Those who will stay here and look after Pilgrim's Rest, remain seated. They have gone, like so many pilgrims before them, safe at last in the celestial city. But there are those who remain. Stop, sir! Stop! I'll help you! Those who go, their work finished. Those who remain, to serve. But there are others. Those on the pilgrimage, those who have not yet decided. To all of them. To you, my friend. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords says, Come, enter into the joy of your Lord.